Hi, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com, on Wednesday, May the 9th, 2012, with a gold, silver, and spider report. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, down about 1% today. Another gap down in the morning. Uh, we're used to that lately, aren't we? Uh, coming back down here to test this lower trend line that I've drawn, this is going to come in at about the one uh, about the 153 level, 153. Uh, we currently uh, hit a low today of uh, 153.60 and uh, closed at uh, 154.47. So uh, three days down uh, and two of those uh, coming on gaps. Uh, volume was very heavy today, uh, uh, but less than yesterday. Yesterday was extremely heavy volume. So um, volume a little bit less today, which is a little bit encouraging. And you'll notice that the day's range was a little bit smaller. So uh, possibly we come down here and uh, test this lower trend line and then possibly get a bounce. Uh, it has bounced off of this three other times here. I did draw a trend line across these lows here, which was violated uh, here the other day as we gap down through it. Um, so uh, gold looking weak. And here's silver, the SLV. Uh, gapping down as well, a third down day in a row. Uh, this time going through the lower trend line here that I've drawn, uh, but closing right back on it, getting support there at that trend line. Uh, another day of heavy volume, but less selling than the previous day. Uh, did have a gap down at the open, uh, just like the gold, and has gapped down uh, two days in a row. Uh, so silver uh, still in a downtrend as well. Now something I want to call your attention to, this is the GDX. Th these are the gold miners. This is a gold miner uh, index traded fund here. And uh, it was up uh, a little over 2% on a huge increase in volume and a big reversal day. In other words, made a new low down here and then vaulted off of that and um, basically uh, 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 made a higher high and closed at the top end of that range. So a very, very bullish day here on the gold stocks, believe it or not. I and mean, we're still not out of the woods yet. We are down below all the key moving averages. But this, this type of action uh, has been known in the past to be a sign of a temporary bottom. So uh, let's see if we can get a rally back up and uh, at least back up here to this 21-day moving average, which has provided some overhead resistance uh, in the past several times here. And that line is cur currently coming in at uh, 45.72, 45.72 and falling. Uh, we closed at 43.02 here, so we got some work to do here. But uh, these, like I say, are the signs of a bottom. And scrolling down to the indicators here, we are oversold on the stochastics down here, down in the 20s, but pointed up. So this is also a good sign. Uh, this kind of stuff happens on rebounds. So let's see what can happen. If we get a rally back up uh, to the 21-day moving average, that would be good. And uh, moving on to stocks now, uh, this is the uh, NASDAQ composite. Again, uh, like yesterday, uh, coming down here to the lower trend line and the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line, getting support down here, uh, down about uh, a four-tenths of a percent here on heavy volume, but less volume than yesterday. So uh, possibly some stability down here, uh, getting support here at the 100-day. Let's see what happens. And looking now at the uh, S&P 500, this is the SPY. Um, uh, getting a bit of a bounce here uh, up off of the 100, came down, touched that, and then rallied back up, uh, closing uh, uh, in the upper part of the trading range. Uh, we did gap down this morning um, and uh, looked like we were going to really take that out, but it didn't happen. We did have a pickup in volume, though. This is another distribution day. This is two in a row. Uh, here's another one, and here's another one. So there's four distribution days out of six sessions. So that's a lot. A lot of distribution going on in stocks right now. Will we get support here at the 100 day? We are now at a point, um, uh, an inflection point here. We need to see what happens. Uh, support needs to hold up here uh, or else we're going to go lower. So stocks, uh, gold and silver, all week, all in downtrends, uh, no place to be on the long side. So that's it and thanks for listening.